looks bad and it smells even worse. Welcome to a Little Time Podcast. Wow. Home yeah. of uh, Mike and Diego. Oh, it is really. It's funny to say that because it is our home. It is our home. Yeah, it's our home where we live, and probably where we we'll die. I really don't want to die here, dude. Hey, it's not your choice. Yeah, that's it's mine. True. This is a nice apartment. It's not bad. It's you know, there's parts to it, like anything in New York. There's yeah. there's, there's ups and downs, because uh, there's stairs. Yeah. Boo. yeah. <laughs> Boo. I did that secondarily. I didn't think about Boo. that first. I didn't even cross my damn mind. Yeah, I know, right? See. Yeah, we got like, well, let me think. One. Flights of stairs to get in. Yeah, here. two, three, four flights of stairs to get in my bedroom. If you wonder how I got such a tight little ass, it's because yeah. of all. Every day is leg day when you live here. Every day. Every day is leg day. Matt, Matt Backus is here, everybody. Our friend Matt Backus is here. Thanks Just for flew in. Fresh straight, off the plane. Straight from the airport. That's the- <laughs> true. That's how important our podcast is. Yeah. You're like, can you do it? I go, I'm in, a, I'm, I'm yeah. in there. I'll fl- <laughs> yeah, he changed his flight to yeah. be here. <laughs> That's right. Thanks for having me, boys. Oh, of, course, of course, brother. Happy to have you. We, we just, uh, it's a beautiful day. I think. It is so nice. It's I, nice assume. I assume. I assume I've been here just recording podcasts. That was nice. Doing our thing. F- nice flight in. Nice smooth ride here. From uh, South, South Carolina. South Carolina. Yeah, yep. South Kakalake. Yep, yep, yep. Which is what. Uh, they couldn't stop saying it out there. <laughs> The the pilot's like, or if you look at your left, it's uh, South Kakalaka. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's one of those airports with uh, rocking chairs in it, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Those yeah. A lot of rocking chairs. In yeah, there. You, you go like, ah, ah, it feels racist. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, a rocking yeah. chair. The rocking in chairs in the air. A rocking chair in the airport. It's a little just feels a little racist <laughs> to me. I don't know why. It's like, why are you so relaxed? Yeah. yeah. Oh, is so someone else is doing all the work? Yeah. Let me guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? Monitoring? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah, it's not. Um, yeah, I didn't realize how southern it was until we got there, and our Uber driver from the airport was like, a dang dong ding dong bong, <laughs> a dong bong dong. I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh, this no. Word, Can you word. turn on subtitles? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's like that weird, because the Carolinas, you're like, oh, yeah, that is the south, but then it's also like on the water, so you're like, it's like a weird, like, like you guys are to do surfing here also. Right. There's a, a lot of... But uh, then sometimes in an Uber, it'll be like, it's a Ford F-250 with the extended cab and the guy's going to be weird about you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, cool. He's going to find out you live in New York and ask you a bunch of questions about being a liberal and you're like, yeah. I don't vote. I don't fucking care. Yeah, yeah, shut yeah. up. <laughs> I've been on the road a lot lately and every time somebody asks me where I'm from, I always there's always a pause where I'm like, I guess I'm going to tell them and it, they, usually re- <laughs> they, they usually react <laughs> in a cool... I I'm going to tell them. Like, sometimes I'm like, I don't want to say. Yeah. But sometimes I'll tell them and they react obviously different ways, and sometimes it's just disgust. Like oh, it's utter yeah. disgust. So for, they literally be like, "Why?" And I'm like, "I don't know. I don't do know, man. Mean? Why you? Yeah. yeah. Why are you here? Don't yeah. Fucking ask me. God. Oh, why do I live in the greatest city on earth? I don't yeah. know. Maybe because it's fucking rad. <laughs> why do I live here? Because you're. Or why don't I live here? Because you're here. That's- yeah. How many? Hey, how many sitcoms are set in Columbia, South Carolina, or whatever <laughs> dog shit place you're from? Well, so. We were at the. I've never been to. Well, I've been to Myrtle Beach. I just chose the Myrtle Beach Comedy Club one time, but I've never been to this part of South Carolina. And we got there, and I'm doing shows. The shows are great. And one time after the show, the lady goes, "Did you go see the waterfall?" And I go, "I didn't see a waterfall." She goes, "There's a waterfall a mile down the road." And then she goes, "Yeah, they just discovered it about 25 years ago." And I go, "I go, excuse me." I go, "How do you discover a waterfall 25 years ago?" It's like it was buried. Yeah, it's been here for a while. It's oddly enough loud. Yeah, yeah. It makes noise. And everyone's like, "Oh, I guess we could turn left yeah. down this road." And then you're like, "Oh, you should a waterfall." I mean, I walked from my hotel to the waterfall. And I go, how did you not? She was like, well, there are a lot of homeless people there. I'm like, so you just let them have that part of the city? They and got then, the beautiful part? Yeah. And then they found out there was a waterfall there. And like, we got to get this waterfall back yeah, from yeah. there. We got to kill, we gotta yeah. kill all these homeless yeah. people, It I guess. blew my mind. I brought it up on stage and nobody had any answers. They were just like, yeah, that's just what happened. I was like, okay. Isn't it crazy how many... Like well, two parts. Isn't it crazy how many, t- how often you'll go to a new city and they're like, "You guys gotta check out the one thing we have. The one thing we have is fucking awesome. Yeah, and it sucks. Yeah, <laughs> and it's not impressive at all. But also, it's like the pressure. They're like, "You have to do it. Yeah, 
If you don't come here and do the thing, I'm an ins- I'm an, I'm personally insulted. Yeah, to yeah, I yeah. love ha- I love hating the thing. Oh yeah, of course that's one of my favorite things, dude. I almost got killed in Cincinnati when I was like, "This fucking spaghetti bullshit you guys <laughs> eat it. is yeah. horrendous." <laughs> I, I, it's disgusting. Was like, Boo! Shut up! And I was like, "You guys all eat dog food. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you!" <laughs> and it really like it like makes me feel so yeah, alive. You turn into like Paul Bearer. You're doing a fucking dude, wrestler dude, heel. Dude, I swear to God, I, I'm, I start. I, I'm cutting a full promo mm-hmm. on these guys. Yeah. It's I knew exactly awesome. what you were going to say when Dude, you said that. Yeah. Oh. The chili skyline. It's disgusting. It's fucking disgusting. It looks crazy. It looks disgusting. You're you're eating disgusting dog food. Yeah, I haven't had it in years, but it was one of those things where I think being I'm from the Midwest, so I definitely have had it, and I don't think I miss it. I think I'm good. No, I think I'm clean. You've had better food from yeah. Midwest. It's, yeah, yeah. You had to free yourself from the shackles of the Midwest, yeah, and then exactly. you're like, oh. I can have like vegetables sometimes. Right. <laughs> you had to bond me for the first time, and and the memory of Skyline Chili gets pushed out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> You're exactly. like, oh fuck that. Actually, I I never had sushi before I moved here, and the minute I tried sushi, I was like, I'll never eat Skyline again. Yeah, Dude, yeah. fuck that. I ordered a salad when we were there, and uh, I go, can I get a salad? And then there was like a short circuit in our eyes, and I go, that's ah, okay. I don't need a salad. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I ordered a chicken sandwich and she brought a chicken sandwich and a salad and she goes I'm sorry she's like nobody's ordered this in a long time and I'm, she brought me this salad anyway so she was like I forgot we had it so I was like alright I guess I'm gonna eat this salad that's been here for who knows how long <laughs> yeah. yeah sounds really fresh and awesome yeah, yeah. Oh, it was pretty cool. good but still highly suspect yeah oh yeah her brain when you're like when you ordered a salad her brain's like you're a boy but a <laughs> yeah. girl like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah she's like what are you gonna do are you gonna fuck it yeah <laughs> So you rode a horse here yeah. as a joke? And you have to feed it? <laughs> she was like, F- I forgot we had salad. I'm that's like, so... My God. Fuck, that's so phenomenal. fucking funny. It was yeah. a pretty good salad. That is what's funny that sometimes it's like, you know, not even like being vegan, that thing, but just like sometimes I'm like going to a town and then being like, everything you guys eat is beige. Yeah. Everything is brown and beige. There's not colors in there yeah. at all. It's a golden brown diet. Yeah. And, and it's like, oh, sometimes. weird how my face is puffy and I'm 31. And you're like, Dude, yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> That's the thing. I think if you don't eat vegetables, your brain just, uh, f- like, neural pathways start connecting. You're like, I guess I should get married <laughs> and have kids <laughs> right now. <laughs> well, you age you so fast. Yeah, you're like, oh, cool, I'm 22. I should probably have my second kid. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. almost like like by eating so unhealthy, your brain is like, "Hey, you're not gonna be here long. Let's let's <laughs> yeah. expedite some yeah, of these that's right. life uh, milestones." <laughs> Everybody in the Midwest eats like a comedy club diet all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everyone's on the road. Yeah, at home. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thirty years it's, on the road. <laughs> it's all chicken fingers and light beer that's and right. just fucking killing themselves. We went to get breakfast, and I ordered this biscuit. It was like truly, it was like biscuit, egg, uh, bacon fried chicken gravy and i was so hungry that i was like that sounds good i'll eat, get that and then i ate half of it and i was like what have i done yeah <laughs> i go what it's like 10 30 in the morning you can eat fried chicken at 10 30 in the morning yeah, yeah dude there's no go, rules in the- yeah. no, there shouldn't be this much hot oil yeah. this early yeah it blew me away where i go i feel so bad right now i, I, I cannot just, believe i did that i just ate three animals yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, yeah that's like i'll see I get I see these like TikTok videos every once in a while, and it'll be a woman being like packing my husband's lunch for the day, and it's like some, uh, no offense, awful looking woman, and then you find out she's like twenty two, and you're like Jesus Christ, yeah. and her husband's like a coal miner, yeah. <laughs> so she's like washing his fucking lunchbox every day, but then it's like filling it with like, it's literally just like the worst turkey sandwich you've ever seen with like not even trying to make it look nice like the meat is so flat she's, <laughs> yeah. she's putting out pieces of bread and vacuuming it to get any Dude. moisture out <laughs> yeah. like, no, let's get that moisture but out of there it's like that and being like my husband and f- my favorite is taking bottled water and then putting it into like a oh thermos God, and then she'll put like three different kinds of like little debbie's cakes in yeah. there i'm like oh your husband's like a little boy he's, like a little, <laughs> yeah. boy. he's like a little boy who has to he's an adult little boy who works in a coal mine he's an adult little boy who coughs up blood every night Dude. and and then it's like I gotta fill. I gotta get two bottles of great value water and pour them in a Stanley for him. <laughs> the the uh, TikTokification of packing lunch has been an awful turn for this country that yeah. no one saw coming. She's like, I'm a meal prepper. She just makes a sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> I'm. A, yeah, that's like the weird thing. You're like, yeah, I'm a trad wife, and what do you do? I take uh, the 
what I what I do is I meal prep by ordering a family meal at Texas Roadhouse, <laughs> and then we kind of eat that for a couple days, and I yeah. kind of just put that in Tupperware and give it to my husband for lunch. You know, like they used to do on the prairie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a traditional <laughs> wife does. Mm-hmm. It is wild too because you meet people um, in the Midwest and you'll be like, "Well, you and I are the same age," and they'll be like, "I'm 21," and you're like, "You cannot don't tell people that." Yeah, I you should lie. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm 21. Yeah. You just go. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, my arm on the shoulder. Go, I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you turn on Don Rickles when someone tells you it's his wife. <laughs> yeah, she's a moose. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Yeah, man. Take care of yourselves. I'm just begging I you, just, people. I mean, you guys have all the same stuff. That it's like, I would say you have 98 percent of the stuff that we have in New York. Yeah. You just. I would disagree eat. with that. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's because being from Indiana, I remember when, like they don't even have bubble tea in Indiana yet. Okay, that's people in Indiana have no. Idea. You show it would be like showing up to another planet, you're like have this, and they'd be like, "What is this? Yeah, there's poop in here. Yeah, yeah. there's a little poop. Why in Why is there here? a surprise yeah. in my drink? Yeah, oh, is this supposed to be here? Yeah, I guess yeah, but it's like we have the, we have vegetables. Here, you guys have you guys grow the vegetables. It's like you. It's like the Midwest grows the vegetables and is like get them, get them out of here. I don't want to <laughs> yeah. fucking eat them. It makes yeah. me sick to my stomach to think about yeah. green beans. Yeah. I grow them and then I ship them out and then I go to the store and buy the canned version of it instead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like I can't fucking look at it, but when it comes out of a can, I know I fuck. Oh, dude, there was do- something else that really remind. I can't remember what it was, but I'm telling you, being in Indiana, I would I, you would see way. I go back to visit and, it, and they would be like a thing where they would be like, we just got this and it's something mm. that I've been having. You know what I mean? yeah, yeah absolutely so it's yeah we just got black people yeah <laughs> we just got them and, like we're nice to them and we're nice to them now <laughs> yeah and they don't even they don't even play basketball here <laughs> they're just guys who drive the bus He's <laughs> or whatever this is my hr manager at work when did you leave indiana indiana i moved here in 2015 2015 okay okay yeah how old were you 24 and my 25th birthday was uh my first yeah my 25th birthday is my first one here very sick it was great. I was just talking to somebody about that. We went to Hi Fi in the East Village. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was uh yeah, twenty went to Hi Fi, got to pick a bunch of music out with my friends on the jukebox, went to a pizza place there, and uh we got hammered. I was I still drank at the time and we got hammered and we went to this pizza place and this lady got out of a limo with no shoes on and I just remember being like, It's my birthday, you wanna kiss? And she was like, Yeah and so I made out with a shoeless lady in a pizza place and then great she move. jumped in a limo and drove off and everybody was like that lady had no shoes and I, my whole defense was yeah but she got out of a limo yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a good point yeah it's a good point yeah you, see, there, if you don't get into a limo without shoes right you take them off in the limo because you're, so, you're having so much fun right exactly yeah. you know why you take them off so you can step on the seats and get and, and, and like lean out of the uh, skyline. That's right. And, or the sunroof. Yes. And be like, woo! Yeah. I'm the king of New York. It's funny to me how often people move to New York, drink for a little bit, and go, this place is dangerous. Oh, 100%. <laughs> I cannot be drunk here. Yeah, yeah. It took me too long to figure that out. Yeah. <laughs> me, I'm 18 months sober. It took me too long yeah. to realize I cannot do this. It's it's uh. It's too so easy. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's, it's so easy. Also, the not having to drive part of oh, it really yeah. takes away any type of... Uh, responsibility. Responsibility on yeah, you. Yeah. You're like, well, I, I, I can't have a couple. I can have yeah. a couple. Yeah. Every night, I'm like, I don't have to park a car. The yeah. worst. Th- the worst thing you can be in New York while you're drunk is drunk. Like, like the most dangerous thing is like you might puke in an Uber. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's. The, I mean, I guess you could like whatever fall on the train track fall and die. Like, yeah. But like, it's like, oh man, I don't, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna crash into anyone because mm-hmm. I'm. I'm not driving a car. I'm not gonna crash into a fucking wall. Because I'm dr- drunk driving a car, you're like, oh, I'm in some guy's car, yeah, and I'm kind of drunk, and I have to be like, hey, let me get out so I can throw up over here. Sure, yeah, yeah. it's no big deal. Fall asleep on the train. I never did that, but I came pretty close. Mm. I fall asleep on the train sober a lot. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I used to fall asleep on the train almost every morning on my way to work. I had a girlfriend that would do that. She yeah. was gorgeous, and she was so small, and she'd be like, I just sleep on the train, and i go, you cannot do that. Yeah. I go, do that. someone is going to snatch you. That, yeah. yeah Falling asleep on the train, it, I feel like in the morning is fine. Yeah, like, I would do it on the way to work. At the commute, night... Yeah. That's a different story. You're asking for someone to come up and slice your pocket and steal yeah, yeah, your fucking yeah. phone or your right. wallet. That's why I keep Jello in my pockets. Oh, <laughs> they slide up, the Jello comes down, they go, yeah. oh, ew. Oh, damn it, he got me again. <laughs> oh, fuck Jello the pockets. Jello fuck. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. It's really a win win because if they don't steal it, I got Jello. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I got a bunch of Jello, dude. Oh, I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> eating Jello has been in your fucking pocket. Linty Jello. Oh, dude. No. You know what? I don't like that. You don't like it? Okay. No. Have you, because you've been on the road so much this year, 
have you been surprised by any cities, both negatively or yes. positively? Yes, I have been. Uh, honestly, um, Oklahoma City and Tulsa, Oklahoma were incredible. Whoa. And I, I've been trying my best not to go to these places with preconceived notions of what it's going to be. Um, but Oklahoma City was so good that I think we're going to go back and do New Year's there. Because oh. they were so great, and it was such a good crowd. The club was awesome. It was lit well. They took great care of us, and it was so fun. It did. It was funny, though, because we did a meet and greet after the show, and this woman was like, I just want to thank you so much for bringing culture to Oklahoma. And I go, two white guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. I go, I go, I go, oh, no. Yeah. I go, how little culture do you have here that me, a white guy, and him, a white guy, are the culture yeah. we brought here? <laughs> yeah. And they're like, oh, thank God. These guys are going to talk about jacking off. <laughs> oh, that's going to be so awesome for us as a no, city. Honey, put the nice dress on. We're yeah. going to watch two 30 year old men like talk a, about their roommates shitting too loud. Don't yeah. dress like a pig like we're going to go see the Thunder play. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You put on a fucking dress and some heels. These white guys are going to talk about. How dating is odd. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, I love your pink shoes. Very brave. Very, dude. <laughs> yeah. The amount of times I've t- like had people be like, it's show, so brave. Show the br- camera. Show the camera. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can Listen, it, it is brave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're but, the Powerpuff Girl uh, Nike oh, Dunks. Shit. But f- people have been like, it's so brave that you told that joke here. I go, is it? <laughs> Am I was I in danger I didn't know about? <laughs> yes. Or just that or do you just mean like you heard an opinion that's different finally yeah, and then yeah. that's But I was like, well, I just get to leave. Yeah. I get to leave tomorrow. Like I don't give a fuck if no one Oh, everyone in fucking outside it, it, outside of Tucson, <laughs> whatever yeah. fake suburb 10 minutes outside of Tucson with the strip mall and comedy club in it doesn't Freak. like me. Oh shit. Well, I already got paid. Yeah. The check already. The check is already in my bank account. I'm saying the sentence on the plane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's sometimes it is stuff like that does happen where they're like, "Thank you for coming here and saying things. People need to hear these things." And it's like I didn't say anything that crazy. Yeah. There wasn't anything that was said. Yeah. We're going to Tempe in a couple weeks, and I guess that's that's Clouds Town, but you know Arizona just feels very red. So we'll see how that. Oh goes. yeah. It's so it's I. I've realized this. Like now, like doing the road a little bit more where I'm like, even if a, if a, if a place is, is red, like if it's like a red, like a right wingy conservative kind of place, but the people are not rich, you can still have a really good time there. Mm -hmm. But when they're conservative and rich, I, I personally will bomb an entire weekend <laughs> because they do not like my attitude yeah. and they do not like my stances. They're like, you're poor, be nice to us. Yeah, but at least like like when it's... Because it's like... I, I, I guess because like Des Moines is like not super conservative, but I remember like being like, okay, they're not going to love all of my stances, but they all came here to like have a good time like right, there was like right. a big table of like cowboys there to see uh to like see the show and they like they loved they were they were just like woo, like whatever didn't matter what the fuck you were yeah like they were just like yeah. drunk and having a good time or like in salt lake like dudes in like trump it was like in a this was 2021 or something but in like trump 2024 shirts oh, being like man. he's gonna win next time wow. being like hell yeah man you're funny as hell and i'm like Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. But I'm just like, it's just so, yeah. Because we did some place in Arizona. I can't remember where it was. But it was like fully like rich conservative people. And I was like, oh, you guys fucking hate me. And I wasn't even, I didn't even have a bad attitude that weekend. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I have a very bad attitude. <laughs> hey, hey, travel's hard. It'll happen, it yeah. Hard. Yeah. And yeah. also. Mike is Mike. Yeah, <laughs> it's mostly that second one. Yeah, so we would. Uh, there are some jokes I have where I'm like, it's kind of a tester joke to be like, well, we'll see if you guys. And I've still literally gotten a laugh just by being like, well, I didn't think you guys would like that, and you guys did. Or you know, I can tell how cool you are by that joke. Turns out not very cool. And yeah, then, and then they're yeah. like, ah, that's funny. Yeah, because yeah. so, that might be enough to be like, oh, we should be, we should remember we're on yeah. a comedy show. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Because sometimes a joke goes poorly, and I go like, oh, you guys are gonna, I like, audibly be like, you guys are gonna hate the rest of this joke because yeah. I'm not gonna not do it. Right. No. Exactly. But. I know that you don't like the first half of this joke, and that's the easy half to, yeah, to yeah. digest. The smart thing is what I'll do, I, I start my act by going, look, every joke is a test. Yeah. And if you don't laugh, you're gay. Yeah. <laughs> and they're just like, oh, fuck. It just breaks their brain. Yeah. What? Their nose starts bleeding. Yeah. It's awesome. Fucking idiots. Yeah. 
a um, Oklahoma City. Wow. All right. Yeah, Oklahoma City was unbelievable. What about like what was uh, in Oklahoma City was like um, restaurant, like anything like where you're like, whoa, they have this here. I'm not surprised. No, see, Oklahoma. City, as far as the what we did when we were in Oklahoma City, we didn't do. We didn't get to see too much. Um, you guys went to the Timothy McVeigh Museum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was it. Uh, the Acted Alone Museum. No yeah. one else. Uh, but the shows were the shows were what really blew me away. Oklahoma City itself was cool. So went to some you know stores, ate some food. Nothing yeah. spectacular. I'm um, like I said, I'm very excited to go back. Uh, we went to Portland. Portland was the same way. The shows were the show. That was kind of the opposite though. The shows in Portland were awesome. Okay, great shows. But the city was bad. Mm-hmm. Like it, I would. It, the, it was felt haunted. It was very, <laughs> yeah, very I really crazy. Don't, I really don't like it. We were like there. downtown in the middle of the day, and everything was open, but no one was around, and yeah. it felt like a zombie apocalypse very kind strange. of thing. Yeah, very, yeah strange, very strange. So, but yeah, Oklahoma City was great. Even Tulsa. We went from Oklahoma City to Tulsa, and I was like, well, Tulsa's gonna suck, but they were same thing. Wow. Really, really great crowds. Big ups, Tulsa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for real. Shout out to everyone in Oklahoma, all 11 of you. <laughs> yeah, we Shout haven't had out. any really bad cities that I can remember, at least. I mean, Syracuse sucked ass. Dude. Yeah, that's Syracuse. Yeah. yeah. It's like a lot of those. Yeah. Albany, Syracuse, those are nightmare places. But Buffalo, yeah. Buffalo. Dude, yeah, at least Albany. Well, it's like funny because I lived there for four years. We went out there, did shows. The city is awful, but at least the shows were also not good. Yeah, at least the shows they were <laughs> They were full and bad. The worst combo. Yeah, yeah. Because you have nowhere to lie to yourself. There's yeah, nowhere to yeah, be yeah, like, yeah. well, you know, everyone's a little tired. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm no, just tired from it being Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Syracuse, it was like heckling and loud and drunk. And I had a guy come up to me. It was a weird conflict of like weird, weird things. I have jokes about being about sobriety and things like that on stage. And uh, this guy came up to me. and He was just shit house. Smelled like liquor. And he was like, I have 25 years sober. And I was like. All right, man. He goes, yeah. He goes, I still drink and smoke weed, but I don't do heroin anymore. And I'm like, all right, man. That's really good. I'm glad that you have found something to keep you off of something else. But, but it was fucking crazy. Yeah. I'm glad you made a new definition for sobriety. That's what I mean. I'm like, yeah. it's not for me to decide what sobriety is for you, but that ain't probably it for I think me. That's not he's, it. He's buffalo yeah. sober. God, dude, dude it was yeah. wild. Yeah, he's not wildly addicted to opioids. Yeah, so yeah. His eyes sober. were looking different directions. He's like, I got 25 years sober. I'm like, all right, where's this going to go? It really blew me away. Yeah, so, so that, now that was I am ins- Kevin Hart. I don't know yeah. what we're doing here. Yeah, oh, that- dude, Syracuse was where one of the I had one of the worst sets of my entire life in Syracuse, and it was I would say. Sorry, s- where was it? The Funny Bone. Okay, that's where we. Yeah, were, in the mall. Yeah, yeah. So it was I would say sixty to seventy percent my fault, but not a hundred percent my fault. Okay. Where so we're in the green room, and the green room is like right off of the showroom, you know. Yep. And then before the set. The sound guy just brings a, a oh, bunch I of. Oh, I hated that fucking show. A bunch oh my of, he God. He brings like three or four girls into the green room, and we're like, what? Why are they here? And he was like, oh, well, they wanted to meet Shane. And we're like, okay. That doesn't no. get you in here. I think he was just trying to, he was trying to like be like, oh, I got them into the green room, so then they'll fuck me. Yeah, yeah. And then we were like, okay, get them the fuck out of here. Right. And then he also didn't even ask. He just brought them just in. Just brought them in. Insane. Decision. And then he was like, it was the sound guy. And he goes, all right, who's who's hosting tonight? And I was like, oh, I'm hosting. And he goes, all right, what's your name? I go, my name is Micah Brucey. And he goes, I'm not saying that last name. And I went, what? He goes, I'll just bring you up. And I went, okay. And I didn't really know what he meant. Yeah, and then weird, he goes, like, because are you joking? Yeah. Because like, ma- so often he will try to joke with the comedians. And like, why are you doing this? Yeah. Right. You're just being mean. You're not really, yeah. I just was talking to Jeff about that over the weekend about how you meet somebody off stage and they immediately are mean and they think they're roasting you and you're like, yeah. oh, no, no, that's like an act. I'm like a person. With, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, you're like my, my friends do that if I trust them and know they love me. Right. Not just like some random person. Yeah. But then the guy goes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your host for the evening, Mike. Oh. And that was it. <laughs> and it was, and I walked up, I walked on stage to, I'm not joking. Genuine silence. Complete silence. Yeah. And you're like, I'm Mike. Yeah, and I like had a fucking attitude about it a little bit. I would. Yeah, I was like, because I was like, it's not a hard name to say. No, it's not hard. Or I was like, try. just get close. You yeah. don't have to be. I'm not make like, make a noise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can go, Mike, blah, 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 and I go like, that's close enough, and I'll yeah. get them the rest of the way yeah. there. They at least know. They don't think I'm comedian, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. God. And it was just, it was. I just fucking. 
I had a fucking rough one. And then the fucking, I don't know, whatever. The, How long, when was this? Was this like kind of This recent? was 2022, probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We rode go-karts when we were there. Did you do that? No, because we did, that was, so we did this, we did Albany Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then we just did Syracuse, like a one-nighter, like Sunday. Uh, okay. And then that was it. So we just kind of like drove from Albany, got to the hotel, went in, and then like drove like left the next like right. Monday morning or even right. Sunday night I don't remember but yeah like just like drove back yeah I feel that we've done yeah. kind of I've done some of the things that before and you're like alright we don't have time to do anything just in and out yeah we did that I, I did that in for New Year's it was like th- nine shows in like two days or something fuck it was brutal but it was like Tacoma 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 and then Spokane three shows in Spokane it was Dude. one night there yeah we did and you have, we did that yeah, we did the Tacoma weekend and then drove over to Spokane. Yep. And then we flew out of whatever fucking weird airport was over there, and they also had rocking chairs in there. Yes. And I was like, fuck yeah. this yeah. fucking air. I hate the rocking chair airport. I don't like yep. it. But yeah, like <laughs> that, dri- that drive at least is like, we drove there in like kind of the fall and it was really like misty and like, yeah, yeah. it was like beautiful. Oh yeah, the drive, drive there is incredible. Yeah, and then you get to fucking Spokane and you're like, I went from Vegas. Vegas, it was Vegas. There's like parts of the airport you could smoke and gamble. Yeah, and then at the same time you have to do both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They were literally glass boxes, which is full of smoke. People so funny looking in the airport. It blew my mind. And then the next week, Fort Wayne, Indiana. So fly out of Vegas, crazy Vegas. Fly into Fort Wayne. Get off. There's a guy. Crazy Fort Wayne. (laughs) There's just a guy. There's just a guy that goes, "Welcome to Fort Wayne. Would you like a chocolate chip cookie?" And I go. Hell yeah! So <laughs> I just just an old man welcoming you to the city. With chocolate, this that's tiny, yeah. tiny airport. You're just, like, where do I pay? He goes, no, no, yeah. no, no, no. I just brought these from home, and yeah. you're like, I trust you for no, sure. My, my wife made these. Yeah, yeah. It blew me away. The contrast. It's yeah. It's insane. I mean, we have a big country that is violently diverse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like even in terms of like geography, but like the, you know, people, social scale. Like it's just like it's so funny how like. Las Vegas is such a k- joke. Like, the idea of it is insane. Yeah, yeah. And you can go, like, eh, and it's a completely different world. And oh, you're like, yeah. Fuck. I mean, dude, it's even like. We're not used to that. Inside of Las Vegas is like a, <clears throat> so many worlds yeah. where it's like, last time we were there, because we were at Wise Guys, which is like downtown. So it's like off the strip. And I was staying at a hotel, like, on the strip, but kind of like at the tail end of it. And he's like, you literally, like, you walk out of the back entrance of our hotel, and I was like, oh, there's just homeless encampments entirely yeah. here. Yeah. Outside of the stratosphere. Beautiful hotel. Definitely won't get stabbed at the 7-Eleven over there. No, it's nice. That they was- play classical music there. Dude. Classical music outside the 7-Eleven is a hilarious bit that I don't know if it works or not in terms of, like, keeping violence down because it's like, oh, it's classic <laughs> music. You're not going to stab somebody to yeah. block. Yeah, yeah. Don't fucking kill someone to block. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, it makes it more epic. Yeah, yeah. I'll, just, I'll just do it slower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, the, and the other guy's still in regular motion. He's like, well, <laughs> no, 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 dude. You're breaking the rules. Yeah. I mean, that's like that 7-Eleven. It's, hey, we're only talking about comedy clubs and hotels on this one because fuck you. But there's the 7-Eleven next to the hotel that um, Helium in, is it Helium in Portland? Yes. Yeah, they put you up at the hotel like that's like kind of far from the club, but there's like a Seven Eleven walk distance, and that's the first place I think I ever encountered the classical music outside the Seven Eleven mm. to stop the insane homeless people. Mm-hmm. And last time we were there, we were walking to get food, and a guy, and a homeless guy from a tent I couldn't even see him was just throwing rocks at us from uh, the tent. Yeah, he like was in the tent. The- he was like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like hiding in the tent. <laughs> Zip real fast. And I was like, fuck, man, I can't. I know where you. I know where you're throwing them from, but I can't see you. And it's I pissing know me where off. you live. Yeah. I know where you live. It's right there. Yeah, I'm gonna kick, throw, how about this? I'll come kick your house down. <laughs> I'm going to throw <laughs> one match at your house <laughs> yeah. and burn that plastic shit to the ground. <laughs> throw rocks at me. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. Yeah. There is. There was, especially like when in like 2022 when we were traveling a bunch, like post, like kind of like everyone started traveling again after COVID. It was like every city was like, oh, every city has... A million tent cities now. Like no every one has city, yeah. every. Yeah, no one has fucking money anymore. No one has a home anymore. I'm like, this is really fucking brutal, and we have to just like pretend that everything is fine. Just all pretend. The time. Yeah. I keep seeing those. Uh, like, they're trailer parks, but for just tiny homes. Like they're they're oh, like not intentional mobile. tiny home communities. Yeah, and just like it's so funny to be like, 
Like you're all like 19 houses like in one little parking lot. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know, man. If I have a part a tiny home, I would like more than five feet away from somebody else. Right. Yeah. Like it's, it's so many layers of claustrophobia. Like I could live in a tiny home if I have a yard. Yeah. You know, eh, whatever. But it's like you're fucking. I'm looking at a guy. <laughs> it's like the scene in the um, what's the new Wes Anderson movie? Asteroid City. Yeah, where 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 they're just talking to each other through the windows. Yeah. It's like, yeah. that always, but I'm jacking off. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because it's like, if I'm going to do that, I might as well just live in a city in an apartment. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What's the Because it's not like they're cheaper. Like that much. I don't know if they are cheaper necessarily. I don't think so. They're not. Because they're, they're really nice. So, they're you know, they're just small. It's crazy. Yeah. I like the idea of it, though. I really like the concept of just like, all right, let's all. Because th- this this one specific place is like, uh, it's for people like coming out of being uh, homeless. So, they're a bunch of tiny homes that are really tiny. They don't think they have kitchens, really. And they have a community center right next to it. So it's like, you live, you sleep there, you know, can come hang out here. Right. And there's like a wood shop in there. And there's like a... Learn a skill. Yeah. A lot of yeah. that. Like, that's, that's fantastic. Like, can yeah. I do that? Yeah. Can yeah. I go there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd like to learn woodworking. How I have not fallen far enough to receive this kind of help. Yeah. I, I got to fail a little bit harder before yeah. I can live in a tiny home. But do you think I- you can pretend? Like, you just walk around, like, rub a bunch of dirt on your face. <laughs> you're like, eh. You kind of start, like, you know, leering at people and stuff. And then they're like, yeah, you get to use the wood shop. I think so. Okay. I'm I not going to so. stop you. Yeah. <laughs> you show up, you're like, hey, this guy ain't homeless, actually. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Stolen valor. This is his Instagram. <laughs> Stolen valor. I know. His stuff is inside a different place. Yeah, his, his shirt isn't dirty. It's vintage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He put that on. He let that hang on his roof for a while, so it got sun faded. But it's new. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's Look. the other thing is I got my I got a new nice vintage uh, Carhartt. Love it. Big fan. Here, yeah. everyone's like, "That's cool." And then in, in, in like South Carolina, they're like, "That's a good working man's coat." Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. They go see you on Monday at work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I go. Uh-uh, I got soft hands, brother. Yeah, uh-uh. they're like wrong shoes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it doesn't know how, they don't know how to compute. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a working man's jacket, but he's got gay man's shoes on. I don't yeah. know what to do. Oh my god. They like they let homosexuals on the on the construction site now. <laughs> yeah, you better not be kissing anybody in that. <laughs> yeah. I bet you're a plumber pipe fitter, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um Yeah, that's uh I don't know. South Carolina was cool. I would uh go back. Okay. I think. There's- I mean we, we if we do move and I'm I'm saying we because of the three of us yeah. move into a uh, <laughs> tiny home encampment, we gotta use one of the tiny homes as a podcast studio. I don't think they'd mind. Oh no, I don't no, think I don't so. Know. It would be a cool. It would be cool. Yeah, put like nineteen GoPros in there. <laughs> yeah, 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 I mean, I guess that's kind of just what Steve-O does. Oh yeah, he just has it. Like he records his podcast just like in his in RV band. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Does he live in it? No, he has a house. I think, he, but oh, I think he was like rich. traveling for a while. Oh. He's doing that. He's doing his like tour. Yeah. Yeah. I uh yeah. <laughs> um, dude, there was I have, I have it a Steve-O hoodie. I have a Steve-O so, hoodie. I was gonna say I have so at some club. I mean, it was Kansas City. Somewhere there was like Steve O was there, and then he just was like, I don't feel like carrying my merch with me anymore, and just had like boxes of size small Steve O hoodies there. I guess what he does is he ships the merch to the club, and whatever he sells, he sells, and whatever he doesn't, he just leaves it. So he's like, Do you want any Steve O hoodies? I'm like, Yes. Yeah. Yes, I do want a Steve O hoodie. And it's a size small. It's a size small, and I, I don't think I, I've only worn it to cut it off. Yeah. <laughs> it's like everywhere, cut it all off everywhere. <laughs> it's just, I'm wearing just the hood. <laughs> just, the, just the neck. Yeah. Just the hood. Just the collar. And two strings that just keep his logo on my chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a cape. Mm, a front cape. <laughs> I uh, Do you guys have merch? Do you sell merch at shows? No. No, not at shows. I have merch on my website. Oh, yeah. Your merch is cool. Thank it's you. Just yeah, like, you I'm, I'm just like, I don't want to fucking carry it. I uh, I saw stickers. That's all I have. Yeah. Stickers are smart. Stickers Light, are great. Lightweight, quick. People buy and people buy stickers. I I don't know if it's just because I'm getting lucky with the crowds, but it's like I make I'll make like three hundred dollars selling stickers in a weekend. Fantastic. Because I do I pitch them. You got to pitch them the right way. I just pitch them where I'm like you know pay they're pay what you want. Mm. And so some people are like here's a dollar, here's a dollar, and then somebody will be like here's twenty dollars, here's twenty dollars, here's a hundred dollars. Nice. nice. Yeah. Pay what you want, but not a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> That's my rule. Well, I go, pay what you want. I go, but don't give me change. I don't want your change. Yeah, no, no, no. Folding money only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have had people give me $2 bills and be like, you ever seen one of these? I'm like, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. I didn't just become. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've just been around for yeah, a while. I'm not seven years old. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've seen a $2 bill. I just dress like a little boy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it also is funny when like a guy is like, I'm like, oh, you're seven years older than me. You oh, just yeah. don't realize that. Yeah. Because you, 
because I still have like a little boy's lifestyle to you. Yeah. But I'm like, oh yeah, you're 42. <laughs> like, yeah, I've you're, seen a $2 bill before. Yeah, like, yeah. a lot. Uh, brother, I'm older than you think. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. All right, stickers are good. Do you keep them in a, a singles or a little like uh, like a drug bag? You know, like a drug bag, like the little cool bags. My, do I keep my stickers? Like when you get, like, is it a pack or single? Oh stickers? no, it's just it, it's just loose stickers. Mm. Yeah. So well, I have like a, I ordered a thousand of them. A thousand stickers was like three hundred dollars, and I just keep them in bricks, and then I just break a brick at the beginning of the show. And usually, I sell. It usually takes me two shows to get through one. I don't know how many you're in a stack, but it's usually two shows to get through one. Okay, it is great. That's awesome. What's and the sticker? What's on it? It's all. Well, I used to have two. The one. Give me I, one. I'll give. I have them. They're yeah, my. I'll give you, I'll give you. Some yeah, ones. yeah. Please, yeah. Uh, it's a brain uh, with sunglasses and a gold chain. Oh, never mind. And, it, <laughs> and it's got a joint in its mouth, and it says my name because it's an old joke about. I still do it, but it's a joke about how drugs like people. This is your brain on drugs. Drugs make you feel cool. Yeah. So when I used to do drugs, I'd be like, <laughs> drugs are cool. I don't know. He just keeps naming things like it's a brain with sunglasses Out. and it has a football helmet and it has a yeah, desk card. Yeah, like, yeah, it's like, a, anything. It's someone in a hot will tub. like something. Thing on this has yep. the rest of a body also <laughs> <laughs> what do i think is cool all those things i listed everything what makes it cool so i used to have two stickers and those only people only wanted to buy the brain sticker because they thought it was cool or funny and the other sticker nobody bought so i, I only make the smart there yeah. you go yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah i remember we were gonna make pins yeah i love I, I made some you made some yeah i made those jeb bush pins yeah yeah, yeah. yeah i still have like two or three of them okay the please clap pins when yeah. pins were cool for like Good two years there. Enamel pins, I think, are still cool, but it's just there's no market for them. They're yeah. not that cool, dude. There was that in Williamsburg. There was that enamel pin store. Yeah, whole store for just enamel pins. Just enamel pins. Just really, I was like, this really feels like something that would be on a boardwalk somewhere. Yeah, or something. yeah, yeah. Like, this belongs in Myrtle Beach. Yeah, this not is a not, whole storefront in Williamsburg, in, Brooklyn. Yeah, on like Grand Street, like pretty prime real estate. Yeah, I mean, I feel like pins are good, maybe in comedian merch though, because people that buy stickers don't buy pins. Or people that buy pins don't buy, I don't know. Yeah. Older people don't buy stickers, really. Mm. I've noticed that. Oh, yeah. They're like, do you have a CD? And you go, what? <laughs> I have a branded Insure bottles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I like I like my stickers. It's but- a very interesting problem to try to solve the idea of, of, of something to sell that's small. Yeah. You know, because I remember I've seen some comedians try and sell like, uh, like they're not, not going to carry stickers or uh, CDs, pardon me, but they have, they sell you a card with a barcode that's, yeah. that has a CD. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. No one code. wants that. Yeah. No one wants yeah, that. Yeah. The, there's no value there. People don't no. like the feeling of, I just paid $20 for this card. Yeah. Not good. Yeah. The like stickers the are good. Sorry. Beer koozie. Beer koozie's good. Light. Good pretty yeah. small. Yeah. Lighter. Lighter wall that bursts into flames. Close. Oh yeah. Wall of that, <laughs> yeah, 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 wall of that bursts into flames is the funniest because it's not just even say anyone's name on it. It doesn't have anything to do with comedy. It's just it's, something that people for some reason want to buy. It's like a magic trick. Yeah, that's fun. I forgot about those. Dude. Imagine taking that to TSA when they have you get your wallet out for your ID and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> they just start shooting you. Down. Exactly. Exactly. Put your hands up. Dude. <laughs> um, I wish I could sell t-shirts and hoodies on the road because I think t-shirts and hoodies are the best and the coolest but it's just such a hassle I think if you you design them you do what I do you just fucking put on a website like you, you don't, I don't do anything the website the, the, the company that makes it they do everything really? I obviously, yeah yeah they do everything I make obviously less money but I don't care it's, yeah, it's, it's, I don't do anything right you're still getting out there and it's what you should do is keep doing the stickers put the website on the back of the sticker and they're like look if you like me and you want to buy a shirt that's where you go Wow, you lose a, nothing. That's a great you idea. Just design a shirt. Yeah, that's yeah. a great idea. Because I have shirt ideas, but I'm just of course you have shirt ideas. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just such a undertaking for me the idea, like the logistics of it. But if I can do yeah. that, like course. like flying with merch as a as a middle act is like, well, dude, I better fucking sell it's these. Fucking risk. I yeah. better fucking sell these because I'm gonna have to check a bag with them in <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, see, you're for gonna have real. to wear all your clothes onto the plane. Yeah, yeah. just get on like fucking Eddie Murphy in the clothes, <laughs> 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 just huge down the lanes. They yeah. make you do the fucking TSA. Like, look at your penis machine x-ray. And they're like, this guy's got nine fucking shirts on. <laughs> I'm like, I can't take these off. I have nothing underneath. <laughs> sorry, dude. I'm, I'm flying. Sorry, dude. I'm flying Alaska. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because I, mean, uh, I designed the shirts and and Mike helped and, and my brother helped and Mac made me the website and I just fucking threw it on the... And he did it for me. It was easy. I gave him some money, obviously. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that paid for itself within yeah. the first five minutes. 
basically. Yeah, that's great. Your merch is really good. Thank the you. I need, that, I need to make one a new you just one. had on. Yeah, yeah. It, the the hoodie itself is great. The hoodie's great. Yeah. Like the cut of it is incredible. Yeah. So yeah. I'm pretty psyched. I'm gonna make a, a new design for No Violence. Yeah, I, it's good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love like those. the the making money, but not like it's like my whole life. Well, not my whole life. My adult life, basically. Anytime I make money is me working out. It's me fighting someone. So anytime I can make money and I'm not working out, I'm like, oh my God, this is crazy. Yeah, yeah it's nice to get paid to not get punched in the face. Oh I'm my sure. God, it's awesome. Yeah. So yeah. Sure. Are you saying I could just pay you money and just punch you right in the face? <laughs> yeah. I'll give you right 20, 20, With a boxing glove on? Yeah. 20 how much bucks? would it cost? I'll give you 20 bucks and I could take a, a nice clean shot. Uh, yeah, how much would it cost? No, you get, you'll, it's, you, one punch is a private session. You, you, I charge you for the whole session. I don't. I'm not doing singles. <laughs> Lucy, I'm not doing Lucy punches in the face. <laughs> I think I, I no. I I walk in the kitchen. I see some dishes in the sink. Uh-huh. I assume they're yours, and I pull out a twenty. <laughs> <laughs> to the, and I to give the, it to you. To the body, ten bucks. Nah, that's a pretty good deal. I've got a boxing glove right there. We can do it on camera. <laughs> yeah, but to the body, camera. but to the body, I got a bunch of stuff. Hey, the body's not satisfied. I don't pay. have a mouth guard right I'll now. I'll pay for you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got oh, a pocket full of sticker oh, money. He got his, he got his, he got his <laughs> middle money. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Backus doesn't even touch his middle money. It's all <laughs> sticker cash. <laughs> He doesn't even fucking right. touch that shit. I'm like Jay Leno. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Not even a little. <laughs> I just cash my checks. I don't even touch them. Dude, uh-huh. how quickly when you get paid by the by the clubs? How quickly are you pulling out your phone? Your 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 mobile banking app. <laughs> I do it in front of them. <laughs> I wait till I get back to New York. I'll do when I get back no, to the No, I make the club manager hold it. Yeah. <laughs> I go, hold it up against your body. You got a dark shirt on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure I'm sure this, <laughs> make sure this shit goes before I leave town. Yeah. Dude, that never crossed my mind, but uh, it has, I have had the thought where I've been at my apartment being like, well, I hope this goes through. Yeah. yeah. No, I, they'll go to hand me the check. I'll go, no, hold it up. And I just take a picture yeah. of it and I just hold them to the back of the neck until yeah. it clears. Uh, <laughs> Dude, I had, I'm not going to say, but I won't say which one on. Uh, the podcast, but I did have to hound a club for money last oh. last summer, and I was so fucking annoyed. Don't make me do that. I did my job. Yeah, yeah. I did my job. And yeah. and you were like, oh, you made me write down my Venmo for you. Yeah. Just send it. Okay, then send it right now. Mm-hmm. The Come first on. club I ever featured at it was in Evansville, Indiana, and they ripped me off like three hundred dollars. And I emailed and I emailed and I emailed forever. And I was like, "You guys f- ripped me off! You ripped me off! You ripped me off!" And finally, one day they responded, but all they responded with was a link to an article about how the owner was running drugs with the cartel and how he was being investigated for embezzling all this money. And I had to just be like, "Well, I guess he owes money to more important people than yeah, me." Yeah, yeah, I guess it's so, not just me. So, hey, message taken. Yeah, yeah. you got it. Good luck. Hey, just so you know, I'm on the cartel side. I hope they cut your head off. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. In this instance, and a lot of other ones, I'm pro cartel. Yeah, yeah. I'm you, so pro cartel. You shorted me three hundred dollars. Yeah. Shorted me three hundred dollars. You're done. Yeah, I had to like I emailed the like whatever, whatever guy I was supposed to email like three times and he never responded. And then I just emailed, I emailed, I cc'd someone else on an email like the club owner or the manager, and then miraculously. My money showed up the next day. Great. Just being like, hey, man, I don't, it's like, I shouldn't have to beg you to pay me for doing work that you, it's like, I did a pretty good job. Yeah. I did a fine, yeah, I did you're a, a good fi- comedian. I did you're a fine crying. job. I was not rude to anyone. I didn't do any, I didn't do. We're I, making crazy demands. No, I'm like, what? I asked for some Diet Coke and some French fries. That's the thing I've noticed about some clubs too is some clubs really go out of their way to like take good care of you, and then other clubs really make you feel like a burden. Where it's like Dude. I'm here to do a job, and I'm here. Yeah, we're a sold out room, and we're you know. Yeah, we're not asking anything unreasonable. I feel like you, like you and and Jeff, probably get the same stuff, the same kind of comments that we do from subs so, because it's like because you're so is does Jeff drink? Yeah. Yeah. But he's not like he's not like I mean as far as I know I don't know him that he's well. He's not like but, a party drinker. Yeah, exactly. He's not like a drinker drinker. So no, he's trying like, to push down some memories. That's all. Yeah, that's what he drinks. But he's like uh, we we just get like you know we're not very demanding. They're like what they're always like what do you want and we go like a a lot of soda and some maybe some snacks. Yeah, and like that's it. Right, and then and then we're also just like you know we're not. Uh, Famous enough to be rude, <laughs> or like haven't been, you know? Yeah, like, the writers I'm not aren't famous crazy. at all. Yeah, but he, he wants like two. He gets like a couple Celsius. I get two sugar free Red Bulls a night. That's all we need. Yeah, and then it's like if you wouldn't mind bringing us some food. Yeah, <laughs> and then is everyone, it too much to ask? 
and then I'd say most clubs are like, you guys are so nice and easier to work with. Because it's like, yeah, I don't, it's not that... I don't need that much. Yeah, we're Especially, not Mike Epps asking for brand new Air Force Ones every yeah. show or something. I'm also Eddie like... Griffin. Eddie Griffin. Eddie Griffin. Yeah. Sorry. Mike Epps is a good man. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out Mike Epps. Yeah, shout Mike out Mike Epps. Epps, Indiana boy. Oh. But we... It's like... It's like, first of all, I don't want to like eat comedy club food that much because I'm like, oh, I'm going to die if I yeah. just keep eating fucking french fries and... and not that good hummus. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hummus that is not very good. Yeah, but... And a cell that has been served in months. Dude, yeah. God. Every once in a while, though, a club will be like, oh, we make the hummus here. I go like, no fucking way. And then you eat it. You're like, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. thank right, God. Fair enough. Yeah. I like the uh, Tacoma and Spokane and all those comedy clubs that are just filled with snacks. Dude, they have like the candy table. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Man, I love that. It's yeah. a table that the... the you open the glass that you put your food and stuff on, you open it like a briefcase and there's a bunch of little compartments of candy. Yeah. And it's so just... as last show of the weekend, I'm clearing that fucker out. Dude. Yeah, I'm turning that thing upside down. <laughs> That's right. Dude, I felt so bad when we were at uh, Zany's in Nashville. They had like a similar kind of setup and there was just like one container of Laffy Taffy and I would just walk in there and I would just immediately be like, well, I'm eating 15 Laffy Taffy <laughs> right now. And like the club manager was there and I was just like, sorry, I'm eating all these Laffy Taffy. She's like, I don't care. <laughs> She's like, I don't care even a little bit. They're uh, there for you to eat. And I go like, I'm eating a lot though. And then everyone's like, "What? there's something wrong with you mentally, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? And I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there is. I think that there's something physically wrong with you and that's that you don't have an energy drink uh, oh in your God. beverage. That's true. In your beverage, in your yeah. uh, cup, Hey, we're doing the energy drink corner. Welcome well, everyone to the energy drink c- 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 corner. Uh, this we 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 review an energy drink every episode. Oh, I've seen. Okay, yeah. I like. Uh, this oh week, yeah, Mike got this one. <laughs> I got this one at the Burlington Coat Factory. <laughs> 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 it, ha- it has the sticker. <laughs> yeah, a comparable value. Okay, that's so funny. Uh, does yeah. it say Burlington Coat? No, but it's a huge sticker for it. Yeah, it's a really it's big fucking sticker. Zero X sugar. Zero yeah. egg sugar, so it's 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 so, rise. So it's fuel. riddled with sugar, but no egg sugar. No, yeah, sugar. no, no, no. Oh, it, extra. That, that's ex- probably what that yeah, means. Yeah, just a regular amount of sugar. Yeah, you haven't broken up with the sugar yet. Uh, rise fuel energy drink. It's Sunny D flavored. It has oh. Sunny D. It's zero artificial colors, zero calories per can. Uh, is there a poem? We we call anything on a energy drink can a poem. Oh, uh, there's a poem on it, but this giant sticker is covering yeah, a big yeah, amount yeah. of it. Uh, there's fine. 200 milligrams of caffeine, 200 milligrams of cl- chlorine. Is that a lot of milligrams of caffeine? Of caffeine is a pretty high amount. What's uh, what was that? What's average? Do you think? I only average? drink sugar-free Red Bull truly. So, I don't so know sugar-free about. Red Bull is probably like so like a can of soda, like, like a can of Coke is like 85, and then so I think a sugar-free Red Bull is probably like 120, maybe somewhere around there, mm-hmm. and then like yeah, 200 like a like a regular can of Monster is like 150. I hate that I know this so no, yeah I know this I like saw an ad for somebody posted something like Black Rifle Coffee Company about their energy something they have like a coffee thing and it's 300 milligrams of caffeine and I go that yeah. seems like a lot pretty yeah high. that's yeah, a lot pretty high. that's like if you were gonna like really work out that's how like like pre workout has that much yeah and energy then, drink a lounging energy drink I would I, I think 200 is good a, a lounging oh, yeah, energy a yeah. working out energy drink I'm like 300 let's fucking go I need yeah. energy to lounge yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to feel a little more alive yeah, right if now you, if you like really want to pay attention to a movie mm-hmm. 200 is good <laughs> <laughs> but you're so you're oh, but, great but you're pull. a uh, so like in terms of energy drink consumption you're a sugar free Red Bull kind of guy yeah okay yeah yeah I'm trying to cut down on my sugar uh, and so I'm only sugar free Red Bull yeah. Never, uh, never had a monster. Never really had. Ooh, I'll take the. Yeah, I'll take the can. I've never really had a lot of. Energy. I forgot to tell you the story about getting. So Thanks I was. Uh, cheers. Hey, cheers, cheers, cheers. I like the cheers. Hey, cheers. To friendship. Thanks, boys. Thanks friendship. for having me on. To, yeah, of course. of course. To your continued success and and to friendship. Mm, thanks, and, to, yeah. and to sunny delight. I love you guys. Love you too, brother. Love you too, buddy. We play Fortnite together. It's awesome. Oh, you guys do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's awesome. It's really yeah. fun. Yeah, it's fun. We're good. We yeah. have a good unit. We're a good unit. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, this is actually really good. Oh, I forgot to tell you the story. So I was at oh Dragon Ball Z Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah Dragon Ball Z Cup. I was I was at the I was uh, on a big search for compression like underwear shorts the other day, and I walked around a bunch of different places in downtown Brooklyn, being like oh okay, like over by Target and stuff. I was like, let me see. And I'm in the Burlington Coat Factory, and this is what I get for buying anything at the Burlington Coat Factory. So I buy um, they have like a bunch of like weird house items there, you know? Okay. Like oh, yeah, it yeah. was like the Ed Hardy branded um Dish like towels? no, like literally like the <laughs> t- like the tooth cleaner, like the like the floss picks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ed Hardy branded floss picks and Exactly like he wanted. Like Jack Daniels uh 
body wash. <laughs> <laughs> I bought one of those, you know, like the kind of like uh like Cohen sc- Brothers shower sandals. Dude, I fuck? literally got the, the like scrubby, like the oh, yeah, handle, yeah, yeah. like the brush on a handle to like wash your back like you're a horse. But for some reason it was body glove branded, like a rash guard. <laughs> and I was like getting that. Yeah, and that's I was awesome. Like, I was like, all right, whatever. And then I see, but I like I get it because I was like, oh, it's like four dollars. And I was gonna buy one that was like 15 the other day. So I was like, all right, whatever. Uh, this is something I wanted to buy anyway. And then I like these are this and another energy drink are like in the like first of all the lime like you have to walk like all the way to the front of the store and then down like a gigantic like line to get to pay. Mm -hmm. And they had a bunch of energy drinks on the side and we had tried most of them already but I saw this one another one I was like okay I grabbed those and I'm waiting in line and there's like a Hasidic family behind me Mm -hmm. in the line and there's like a little boy maybe I don't know how old children are okay two to four. Somewhere in that region. <laughs> Old enough that he understands language. Okay, yeah, probably two to four. Probably two to four. And he's walking. And I'm standing there with my body glove branded brush on a handle mm-hmm. and my fucking two energy drinks. And he just spanked me. <laughs> 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 he just fully slapped. He fully <laughs> smacked my ass. And I'll say this uh, for a little boy. Pretty hard. Oh, my God. And the, and the family did not acknowledge me. At all. Wow. They just said, whatever, whatever, Jebediah, whatever your fucking name is. <laughs> they went, Jebediah, no, <laughs> no. And I was just like, they're definitely going to apologize to me uh-huh. right now for sure. Yeah, yeah. Not, not even That's a word. Hilarious. Nothing like, I'm sorry, my child with a uh, interesting haircut mm-hmm. fully palmed your ass cheek. <laughs> so Nothing. Funny. What the hell? That's crazy. Dude, That's it was insane. insane. And I was like, are you know like what? That's what I. to them? Like- no, we are. <laughs> Yeah. That's why I remember one time we were like somewhere and you held the door for a Hasidic woman and I was like, don't fucking do that because yeah, yeah, yeah. they won't even thank you. And yeah. they didn't. They didn't. I, and that's not the point. I do it because it's the right thing, not because I get. Uh, up, uh, that's insane. Gratitude. The only reason to do anything is so someone can tell you you're a good person. <laughs> <laughs> that, it doesn't make me feel. Nothing makes me feel different. I, like, <laughs> I can't believe that happened to you. Dude, that's so funny. It was that's so insane. just little. Did he Hasidic wind boy. up? Yeah, like, you must. Yeah, you know I, how I, I didn't. I. He yeah. must have. Oh, he, had a, he had a good... He's the next sucking Sandy Koufax. Yeah. <laughs> he had a fucking good rotation on him, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I swear to God. Because I was just standing there, and I literally went like this. I went... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you moved, Almost took out your knees. Like, oh, forward. Jesus Christ. What the he hell? He moved you forward. Dude, it was like, what the fuck was that? And I was like... <laughs> well, clearly... You should have gone, now my turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my it was god! So I was like, "All right," and I, you know, I, it was the thing where I was like, "I'm not even gonna turn around mm-hmm. to like be like, I need an apology," because uh-huh. I was like, I was at Burlington Co Factory buying stuff. I was like, "I'm already being punished enough." Yeah, that's you I'm should. Not, anytime right. you go into Burlington Co Factory, he did it. Yeah, it was you like should I, expect yeah. some kind of a, a oh my god se- child sexual assault. assault. Yeah, that is so funny. Yeah. Anyway, that's this awesome. energy drink's pretty good. <laughs> this energy drink's pretty good. Wow. Ah, uh, I'm a little. Uh, the first taste sip was really good. I'm kind of I, I, I didn't like the the finishing flavors. Okay, a little bit oh, of like dryness pink, to it. Pink Himalayan salt in here. Oh wow! The aftertaste Surprising. is not ideal. Yeah, which is is what make or break for most energy. I'm gonna be honest yeah. with you. I disagree with you guys. Mm. I do uh, think it was good throughout, but the aftertaste, like yeah. now that mine's gone, I'm like, I kind of like it. It kind of feels um, I don't know, like um. Like if someone was like playing with a bunch of old toys and they put their finger in your mouth, I don't know what. Uh, know what like saying. a kind of brassy, like a kind of brassy, like, dirty like blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a, like a penny. I'm gonna give it a two point eight five. Interesting. It's on a scale of one to five lightning okay, bolts. Okay. One to five lightning bolts. Uh, zero to five lightning bolts. Yeah. Zero meaning you hate, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Five, yeah. you liked it so much, you're gonna order it online. Mm. Uh, I would go with a three. I was fine. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I don't have as advanced a palate as no, you guys. No, 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 so. no, no, no. Hey, your but, hey, this piece of all, shit opinion is important. This is yeah. all about intuition. Mm, all gut feeling. I'll need a three, but it's also the nostalgia factor of Sunny D, D. and it did kind of taste like Sunny D. D. It did, you know. Yeah. Also, it, maybe because I was drinking out of a glass, it made it really up the experience, truly. Yeah. For, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna, I, I got to let it breathe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to give, give it a 3.5. I like it. I would buy I would buy a it trying to one-up me over here. I would say, no, I, if I saw it, I would buy it again. <laughs> wow. Okay, good. I didn't hate it. If it was if I cuz I bought it at the store and it was warm. I'm about to put so that I on would the right. Not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I need the Rise Fuel Sunny Delight. So there's something with this brand Rise. They're like in the like fitness world. They have like the most like Rise Fruity Pebbles, Rise, oh, yeah, Cinem- yeah, like yeah. they're like all of their like 
protein collabs. powders seem like they're like supreme. Yeah, dude, it's truly like everything seems to be like with a off off like a famous or like nostalgia. Definitely kind of in lives in the world of like nostalgia of being like, oh, this tastes like cereal I ate when I was a kid, but it's protein powder mm. or like oh. or it's an energy drink that tastes smart. like yeah. yeah, it is smart. And I'm like, okay, well, I like those flavors, so yeah, yeah. I do want. I don't think their protein powder is vegan, but I'm like some of them. I'm like, damn, shit does look fucking good. Jet Puff Marshmallow Protein, protein powder? powder? I don't yeah. even know what that would taste like. That sounds awesome. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Like marshmallow fluff. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's impossible to blend. <laughs> yeah, you're just, just like... <laughs> yeah. Just, just stop. He's just like trying to drink it forever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, no, no, it's going to come. And then it does that thing where it all comes... It all like yeah, it slides at down once. at once. Yeah. Like, fuck. yeah. Yeah. Fucking brutal. Matt, have you watched any movies lately? We do a movie past corner normally. Oh yeah, are but you a movie, movie on the plane guy? You've been traveling a lot. I um, I'll say this: I am a movie on the plane guy, but I haven't been on flights long enough to really watch a movie. So I've just been kind of reading or listening to podcasts. Okay. Uh, the last movie I watched, I did watch Saltburn. Uh, okay. Did not like it. Wow. Thought it was. Uh, yeah, it's not very. It's not very good. It's it's for movies. It, it for me, it's like a movie that people who don't watch movies think is art. Yeah. 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 Yes. Somebody somebody described it as the first movie that seemed to be made for those like uh, Twitter screenshot accounts being like one frame of a movie kind of thing. Uh, like it seems like it was yeah, made yeah. only to like look nice in like screenshots singular. and yeah. like sent out. Because it's like I did think it like looked nice, right? Aesthetically, it was good. yeah. But then it's like. Uh, the story sucks and is bad. Yeah, and it just felt like like there's the part where he's like in the like he licks the tub and like the whole thing with the grave where I'm like yeah. I get it it's like shocking but it just feels like that's the thing where people are like oh slow let me stand up and clap yeah. slowly yeah. you know it's like all right it was fine I don't know if this is 100 percent true because I don't read articles but apparently the grave scene was improvised and I'm like how the fuck did you improvise that yeah <laughs> wow. Uh, I uh, yeah, and the the song at the end was cool, and it was like you know I wouldn't deter people from watching it, but I just didn't get the hype on it. So. No, I did. It was interesting because I saw it in the theater, and because I went in with pretty low expectations, because one I didn't like her first movie, and what I was her first movie, Promising Young Woman. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm, I don't like myself. Mm-mm. First of all, complete act of fiction, Promising Young Woman. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, but. It's not about Hillary Clinton. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's someone who doesn't get it at all. But then I was just like, I, <laughs> like I'd only seen people talking poorly about it, uh-huh. so I was like, all right, this is gonna be very good. And then I saw it in theater, and people were having like a blast. People were having a really great time watching it, and I think I even kind of got sucked into that energy a little wow. bit. I mean, like being like, oh, I didn't like the movie. I had a fun time in the theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's definitely a difference. But the there. movie wasn't good. But it was int- like it was interesting to be like like. I left the movie theater being like, man, maybe people are wrong about this movie. And then I thought about the movie itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, no, they're right. This movie mm-hmm. stunk. But I had a fine time seeing it. Which is an interesting um, kind of spot to land on with art. Where like, it's not good, but I had fun. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I wonder if, how much of that is. I mean, mostly it's the community aspect of being in a room with other people. But it's like, is there any other art form that can have that leeway? Where it's like, in a painting in a museum, like... This painting sucks outside of this museum, but the fact that it's in here, I'm like, this rocks. I mean, I will say, yeah, stand up is a lot. Of, like, you'll see, yeah, somebody will be not go- like hacks can kill. Yeah, you're like, oh, this this is not a rich. <laughs> yeah, I'm pointing at that. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> He's like, thanks for saying I kill. <laughs> That's how fucking yeah, insane yeah, comedians yeah, yeah, yeah. are. Any kind of compliment, you're like, all yeah. right. But yeah. then you, see you heard some- it. He admitted it. <laughs> I kill. <laughs> But did you see like at comedy clubs the like coming soon? Yeah, the like comedian the promo, before, oh and you're God. like watching the worst comedy you've ever seen. You're like, they're killing, Slap and people me in the, the two cr- head, and people in the crowd are laughing at the video. Yeah, and you're like, first of all, I'm gonna do. If you guys are laughing at that, I'm gonna have a bad set. Yeah. <laughs> but, but and you're like, oh man, it is crazy. Where it's like, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be good to get like whatever to get like a big reaction. But also like even in the room where you're like, oh. I'm watching someone, and I would if I was watching this on my couch, and it's on the TV, I would not be laughing even a little. Yeah. But then I'm in the room with someone, and I'm like, ah, uh, we're we're all here together. All, laughter is yeah. contagious. Then, yeah. The energy of it all. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I agree. yeah. It's fun because every time I, we would do shows, and they'd have that video come down on the screen, or they'll play like who's coming up next, and it's like you know fucking Tommy No Teeth or whatever, some yeah. fucking idiot. I always wanted to be like, because I don't want to outright be like, that guy sucks. I want to be so nice, it's clear that I think he sucks. Like, 
That guy's really funny. He's great. He's really, really funny. He's really good at stab comp. Like, just go overboard. Yeah. And people are like, okay. What was it? There was somebody that, I think it was TJ Miller or somebody, uh, did a joke on his show, and they had shown that joke on the video before the show. And so he was like, why didn't you guys laugh? I, or something like that. And, yeah, they, yeah. and they were like, we saw that on the video before. And they so then the club had to be like, ah, we fucked up. We shouldn't have put that on there. Yeah, yeah. 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 Fuck. So. It is a good point. It's like, oh, man, you don't know how old that joke is. Let me right. fucking have that. Do you remember I got I got in trouble once at a club? I don't remember where we were, but it was like I was it was like cuz on the road like we'll switch back and forth like hosting and featuring. Mm-hmm. And I was hosting one night and the guy and the club was like very rarely do they really care about like the announcements anymore it seems, which is like nice cuz I did, I don't like doing them and I never remember them. Right. But they were like, "Oh, can you just like I think ticket sales were low, so they're like, "Can you just like pump the like at the end of it be like, "Hey, come back next week." And it was I think it was like Oh, you guys should come back soon for Jay Moore and Carlos Mencia. And then f- I didn't even plan on doing this. And I go, and some other fucking guys from 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and then the club owner was just like, what the hell, man? <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Uh, that's on me. That's yeah, on I me. truly <laughs> couldn't help myself. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I've lived in one gear my entire life, which is make fun of a thing. thing? Yeah. And you didn't need me to, to do that one time. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, that's funny. It's yeah. a tough life. Be like, yeah, some other fucking guys from twenty years ago. I can't. <laughs> and the crowd, half the crowd laughed, and the other half was like, "What the hell?" <laughs> and I was like, "All right, see you later." All right, take it easy, everybody. Yeah. We'll never see you again until I die. Yeah. Fuck that. Whatever. It's a way to do it. You make fun of people. Sometimes people pay you. Sometimes they buy your stickers. Sometimes, sometimes they believe in you. I've gotten, I don't know, it really, there's people I've met on the road lately have been so nice and so genuine and they're actively supporting that I'm, I've just been, I think it makes them uncomfortable sometimes because they'll buy my sticker or they'll follow me on Instagram and they'll be like, you're really great. And I'm like, I really am genuinely like, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Mm-hmm. And oh. I think they can tell. I've had multiple people who like people who listen to the podcast will like come, which is like unbelievable. People who like listen to the podcast will come and see us on the road and they'll like meet me. And, you know, I'm kind of like a cranky bitch on the podcast. <laughs> and then uh, they'll be like, hey, I whatever, listen to the podcast. And I'm like, genuinely, I'm like, I, you don't know how much I appreciate it. Like, it means so much. And they're like, wow, you're way different in real life than on <laughs> yeah. the podcast. Like, you're not a mean bastard in real yeah. life. And I go like, yeah, yeah you, like, ca- you like came here. You're like, you didn't just have to like whatever it's not just me and diego and or, or like or like with a guest sometimes like just talking in in diego's bedroom like it's like you're here at the place to see me do the thing i want to do mm-hmm. and then you're coming up to tell me that you like this other th- and it's like it's like it means so much to me and yeah. i i'm so appreciative and they're like it's almost like they wanted me to be like eh shut the fuck up yeah, <laughs> like yeah, they wanted yeah. me to kind of be cranky but i'm right, like right, um, right. i can't it's like they want you to dynamite. They yeah, want you to do your yeah, fucking yeah. catchphrase. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I was just yeah. like, it's like, or not even that they wanted me to, but they're just shocked that I'm like genuine, like being genuine and like appreciative mm-hmm. of something. But it is crazy. It's like, I can't believe like, like when we were in the UK, someone being like, yeah, listen to the podcast. I'm like, I'm going to throw up. That's crazy. I'm going to fucking throw over up. Here. Yeah. You, got, you guys you have guys, BBC. You guys get it over here? <laughs> <laughs> you guys have iTunes over here? That's nuts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's truly incredible. It like t- it's like very makes me emotional a little bit. Yeah, because yeah, you, nice. you you know we've been working for years in little fucking back rooms in Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No one sees us, and then you have the opportunity to be seen. And like, hey, what you do is good. Yeah, you're like working on a like, thing forever. Ah! Yeah, yeah. you're, you're working like, a thing oh forever. Oh my god, it was all worth it. Yeah, yeah. it was actually fucking worth. I it. I knew this was funny. Yeah, yep. I wasn't. You. It's like especially like when you first like when I like not to, not to put this on you, but it's like when I first started doing the road. And like doing shows with like actual crowds at them and stuff like that, and you're doing well, and people are liking you. You're like, oh my god, I'm not delusional. Yeah, I wasn't delusional 100%. the whole time. Mm-hmm. Just like be like dying every night on stage in Brooklyn in front of only other comedians. Yeah, uh, and then you go on right. the road and you're like, oh fuck, no, I fuck. Okay, thank God. Yeah, I, thank God I'm not fucking crazy. Because I can't think of another skill set that, as you get more successful, becomes easier. Basically, like. Going out on the road and doing shows where people want to see you, like it's rarely like difficult. There's some yeah. shows that are just weird, like one offs or you know, right? They're very drunk, but it's just like the hardest shows I've ever done are all little piece of shit shows in Brooklyn. Like, yeah, right. The lowest stakes possible. The lowest right. stakes, and like, like a, fuck. a free show in the basement of a bar, and then you're like, why does it feel like I'm dying? Yeah. And then you go on stage and there's like whatever hundreds of people there, and you're like, oh, I could do this. 
I could go all night. Yeah. I'm fine. There are a lot of you setups. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah and I, well, I think it's been said a thousand times, but I remember when somebody first said it to me, it really clicked, but it's Black like... don't crack. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why I got it tattooed on my arm. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's like... Uh, doing comedy in New York City is like when athletes go to like lower altitudes to train. It mm-hmm. is so much harder here, so yeah. it makes you better. So that when you go somewhere else, you're hitting harder, you're quicker. And I 100 percent believe that because yeah. I've been getting on the road lately, and it's just like everything is so tight because yeah, so it's easy. so hard here uh, that everything here is just you know. Yeah, and he means higher altitude. Everybody, I know he's not a jock. <laughs> that pissed me off that he said it wrong. What did I but say? Lower altitude. Oh. You go under? No, no, no. He goes, goes underwater. I go below sea level. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Fuck. Well, Matt, thank <laughs> you so much. We're gonna record this again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Strike the so episode. Much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna sign the release. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we should make those. I have uh, a very disclosure agreement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'm not allowed to look like an idiot more than once a day. Yeah. It's already happened. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for being on the podcast. We appreciate you coming literally straight from the airport. Yeah, of course. This um, is great. You're the man. Where can people follow you? What's your Instagram? What's your Twitter? Blah, 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 blah. Um, Matt Backus on Twitter. Uh, Matt Backus sucks on Instagram. Matt Backus sucks on TikTok. All that. Just Matt Backus. Um, everywhere. Amazing. And he's in your town with Jeff. Go see them. Yeah. If they, actually, you can't. It's sold out. Yeah, the shows <laughs> yeah, are yeah, sold yeah. out. Maybe sneak sold in out. or DM Wait. him and tell him you heard the podcast. And guess what? He can't do anything for you. No, I, I, get, <laughs> so my- I do get a couple comps every episode, every Ooh! every city. So truly, if you're cool and you want to, because I don't know anybody in some of these cities, so I have ten I have comps he, to give from away. a little time pod. He might let. He might yeah, yeah, for real. So if you feel it, let and me you know. got and you and if he does that, you gotta heckle. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta heckle and do not tip the white staff <laughs> even a little, and maybe even be a little racist. <laughs> <laughs> what race? Up to you. Hey, whatever. Follow Michael Brucey at Michael Brucey. Follow Diego Lopez at this. Diego Lopez. Patreon.com backslash a little time pod for four bonus episodes a month plus video of all eight episodes a week before everyone else. Yeah. Suck me and fuck me. We love you. Suck 